Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Matt. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for clicking on this video. Right, we got another reaction video coming at you today. Remember to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Follow me on Instagram. The link will be below. Share with your friends, your family, all that fun stuff. Stay till the end for a special surprise. And let's get into it. All right, guys, so this 34-year-old lives on 150000 in New York City. Second one in New York City. All right, guys, so let's go. Coming from a family that's a family of immigrants, where we were three families in a one-bedroom in Brooklyn, I didn't learn about money growing up. Uh, wow, that's crazy. Three families in a one-bedroom apartment in Brooklyn. Wow. Respect to her. Respect. Looks like she's really motivated. My confident in herself. Good for her. Money was seeing my family hustle, and now everyone's doing really well. Hi, my name is Diane Lieva. I'm 34. I make $150,000 a year, and I live in Manhattan, New York City. Okay, guys, so she owns a brand consulting agency. That's pretty cool. Let's, let's learn more about it together. I started my agency um, after getting laid off from a corporate job. Uh, I've been pretty fortunate. It really ranges when you're freelancing and working for yourself. I mean, I would say my biggest expense every month is my rent. I do have health. All right, guys, let's see what her budget is. This is the exciting part. Insurance. I pay about $400 a month for it. But even with that $400, you know, prescriptions are a ton. But I just have to have health insurance, especially when Okay, so her typical monthly spending is $4,100. So we got health insurance, $400. Donations, $250 to $330. Transportation, $400. I'm assuming she doesn't have a car because she lives in New York City. Groceries, $200. That's really low. I would think it would be more like $400 to $500. iPhone, $150 to $200. Electricity, pretty cheap. Internet and subscriptions, $100 a month. Oh, and then the majority of her budget is the two-bedroom apartment, twenty-four hundred for rent, which is not outrageous in uh, New York City. You know, New York's so high when it comes to rent. Okay, guys, so let's keep going. You're in your mid thirties. The challenges of having your own agency. There's so many. <laughs> One, just being used to that Friday direct deposit, having to really know where every single dollar is coming from. Another challenge is just money management for me, um, putting aside money to pay your taxes every year. And also Ah, another tax thing. Putting aside your taxes when you're a business owner, that's huge because obviously uh, no one's there to do it for you. You have to kind of take ownership and do it yourself. So super important. Just knowing your worth. I think that was something that I learned a lot. You know, you start doing designs for like two, three hundred dollars and then you realize there's people that are doing this for hedge funds that are charging like a hundred thousand dollars just for a logo. My experience with crypto, um, I have to thank my little brother, Yeton. He was on it very early on and he told me to invest in Bitcoin a couple of years ago when it was about a thousand dollars, maybe a little less, and um, I liquidated at nineteen thousand. He called me and said, "Get out." And I was like, "What do you mean?" And he said, "You will never see a return on anything like this in your life again." Putting a little bit of money into it, you know, here and there, and kind of having a. Okay, so she's in the crypto game. Interesting. Well, she got out in a good time. She was got in at a thousand, got out at nineteen thousand. Not not bad. Diverse portfolio. I know today it's like crazy, but hey, she got in, she got out, she made some money, so good for her. I have a 401k, I have a retirement plan. Throughout college, I actually worked at Safeway for five years when they were union and the number two company to work for behind Starbucks. So that's all been building since then, and every time I have taken a corporate job, whether it's been for a little bit or been on my own, I'm always putting into that fund. If I do an event... Hey, good for her. She's putting in her 401k. That's smart. Mm -hmm. You know, I bring in 20 grand from it, obviously I'll put aside a portion of that. And then there's months where I'm not putting anything aside. That's a good number, 10 to 15% of her income. That's a really good number. She's on the ball, good for her. Okay. 
Hustle in. Let's go. I was just so fortunate to be a hustler, like finding ways to save on everything. I do go to a very expensive gym and provide them liquor for their monthly mixers. And I'm fortunate enough to get a comp membership there. (laughs) And I think just that hustle growing up here in New York and coming from a family that's a family of immigrants, all of that was instilled in me at such a young age and really preparing yourself. Well, that's good. She's involved in the, in a, a good effort that gives back by making lunches for the homeless. That's good. Right now, we are going to see Kristen, who is my partner in Hashtag Lunch Bag, because we have a meeting about this weekend's event. You know, you make sandwiches, we distribute them to the homeless. We started with just making 100, now we're making almost 1,000 every month. It's just nice to be able to do something that can put a smile on someone's face that we take for granted. Good for her. You know, she contributes quite a bit of money to this charity cause, and she's a good person. She's trying to help the homeless, and that's a very noble cause, so good for her. Every dollar I spend, I think of how I can make like three dollars to cover it, you know, and that's always in my head. I buy a purse. Ooh, that's kind of a good strategy to use. Every dollar she spends, she wants to make three dollars back. Hey, there you go. She really is a hustler. For 200 and I'm like, where am I going to make $500 tomorrow? My goal is to retire by 40. I always say if you live in Manhattan, you have to hate yourself a little bit. (laughs) You know, it's not easy to live here. So I'm really working up to taking everything I made here and enjoying the rest of my life somewhere else. So I never felt like I was great with money. And the more I talk about it, the more I realize you hear where you can do better and where you can spend less. The fact that I am debt-free and live alone in New York, um, I've been pretty good with money the last couple of years. Dang, good for her. Okay, guys, so let's do the takeaways now. Number one, she's a hustler. You know, she came from nothing. You know, she's an immigrant. You know, good for her. She's working her butt off. She created that agency, um, and it, she's just she's just a hard worker, good person. You know, she donates to charity. I like her. She's cool. You know, number two, debt free. She's debt free. That's huge. You know, that allows her to save more money and budget correctly. And she's just doing really good. You know, she's young. She's vibrant. And she's killing it. The one thing I would ask her about is she talks about how she wants to retire by forty. And it's interesting because it's like, what does she want to do after she retires? That's so young. Like, you kind of have another forty years. Like. She talked about how she wants to get out of New York, and I feel like probably what will happen is she'll like retire, semi-retire, and then kind of find something else that she's passionate or start another business, and then kind of do that kind of part-time. So then she'll have enough money to be able to go travel. Maybe she wants to travel, maybe she wants to uh, spend her free time doing something, but you gotta have something that you love or something that you're gonna do, right? So to spend your free time in, because what are you gonna do from 40 to 80? Just uh, watch TV. But um, I'm sure she has a plan. She, she's gonna figure it out. And maybe she just wants more freedom or, you know, travel or just whatever, but she's really cool. And um, I think she's a good a good uh, financial example for us to all look at. You know, living in New York is very hard and um, I wouldn't want to do that because uh, it's tough there for many, many reasons. All right, guys. So, $100 Visa gift card giveaway coming to this channel very soon at 1,000 subscribers slash family members. Right, so let's get the family up to a thousand. Excited for that. All right, guys, so at a thousand family members, let's get into that super quick. Remember to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, share it with your friends and your family, and uh, let's grow the channel. And I'm really excited, I'm having fun, and I just want to keep chugging for the long term and just have fun and bring value and uh, do a lot of different things. I want to do a lot more of these react- reaction videos in the future, and I'm excited. So, uh, yeah. All right, guys, that's all for today's video. Remember to continually work to become the best version of yourself, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.